What's up, guys? This is Josh back here from uh, Inside Wrestling Truth. Um, today's video, we're gonna be talking about several things. We're gonna talk about TNA because that's what everybody's been talking about this week. Uh, we're gonna talk about WWE making some cuts, um, and we're gonna the, we're gonna talk about hypocrites on YouTube because it is something that's really been bothering me lately. Um, it's just so, so annoying, uh, to the point to where it's hard for me to even get on here and make and watch videos anymore when it comes to pro wrestling. It's almost just, it's just stupid. We'll get to it in a little bit. Um, first things first I want to talk about is, uh, TNA, um, all of a sudden, this week, we're hearing about them and Spike TV, but I can remember when this topic first got brought up, it was like back in the beginning of the year, in like January or February, they were talking about this shit. Uh, anybody that is a fan of this great business of wrestling that is rooting for TNA to go under is ignorant and just stupid and just does not understand this business. Whether they lose their TV deal or not, people should still be praying and hoping that TNA does not close. Because TNA closes, that's more guys with without jobs, um, and that just leaves us with the WWE. And we all know that if WWE gets some of those TNA guys, they're not really going to use them anyway. Um, I've been... I'm the, I haven't been a real big fan of TNA since like 2007, 2008, but I do watch it from time to time. Um, I watched it last night. That was very good. Uh, shocked the shit out of me. I hadn't watched TNA in a few months, but I did watch it last night. And I really did like what I saw. Um, I think they the last couple shows that I've seen on Impact have been good. Um, but I feel like it's too late. I think Spike TV will drop TNA, which sucks, which sucks for TNA and for wrestling fans. Um, yeah, man, it just, I hope Spike does not drop TNA. TNA, ha TNA has some talent there. And it seems to me now that they're on their way out, now that they're under pressure, they want to start using them right. They want to start having great matches again. They should have been doing that all along. Now, I understand Hogan and Bischoff pretty much put them in a hole that it really is hard. And Vince Russo, and it's very hard for, it's going to be very hard for them to climb out of. But, um... In my opinion, I think TNA uh, needs to stay. Um, I pray that they don't shut down, but I'm pretty sure they will. Um, it's TNA's been dying a slow death month by month by month, and I said it last month when Global Force Wrestling gets started and they get a TV deal, we probably will no longer see TNA. Uh, so I guess a lot of the guys, if TNA shuts down, my thoughts are a lot of the guys from TNA we will go to WWE or ROH in the indies, which would be cool with me because I, I watch independent wrestling more than I do uh, anything else anyway. Um, and there's a lot of raw talent out there that I've said a hundred times nobody knows about. But uh, my thoughts, like I said, these are just my thoughts on TNA. I hope uh, they find a way to uh, bounce back and uh, save the company. Um, I like to see more wrestling personalities in charge of that. Of that. Um, but those are just my thoughts on TNA, man. Um, now let's go over to the WWE. Uh, the WWE. Well, yesterday was it yesterday? I think they're no longer making WWE magazine, which isn't a big deal to me. I, I feel like that magazine should have took a death about ten years ago. Um, 
WWE, WWF magazines haven't been what they were back in the day when I used to collect um, from like the 80s and 90s and even early 2000s they had some good ones but um, I think it's a good move a good way to save money uh, a lot of people will not agree with me on this I know WWE's cut a lot a lot of jobs but I think Vince and I think the McMahon family will bounce back from this um, this isn't the first time I thought they were uh, in trouble uh, and it's not the first time they've been in trouble. Uh, I kind of like the WWE, you know. I don't. There's really not a whole lot. Uh, I like the guys they have there. Um, I like the direction things are going. Uh, to me, it really doesn't matter who has the belt. I always thought that shit was so overrated. You know, a reason people have titles in this business is to get over. That's what they're for. That's what they're for. Everything stays. It's not like they're all out there wanting it for real. Come on, man. Uh, but I think WWE would be alright. Um, so we'll just have to see what happens from here with WWE, what moves they're going to make. I had seen something where they signed like a 10-year deal with somebody with the WWE Network. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens there. Um... But hope all is well because WWE is it in this business. is where you want to be. And, you know, wrestling as a whole is seems to be in some financial trouble right now. I see it everywhere I go. Uh, not just WWE and TNA, but all over. All over, man. Um... But let's just hope they get back to getting the ball rolling again. Let's hope TNA um, finds a way to revive itself, come back from the dead, pretty much. And I think they're making strides to do that. Now, the next topic that I'm going to talk about today is one that has been getting on my nerves for a few months now. And... I talked to one of my friends on that, you know, he has a YouTube channel. And I instant messaged him, you know. And I was like, dude, you know, you've been on YouTube a few years. Do the majority of the people on YouTube and the wrestling, the YWC, whatever the hell you call it, um, always act like high school kids. And he's like, yeah, Josh, you know, that's how it is here. But it is getting just to be so ridiculously retarded. I mean, you've got people on here. They'll sit here one day and be like, I can't believe people are doing this. People are doing that. And then they turn around the next day and do the same exact fucking thing. The same exact fucking thing. I don't know if it's to get views. I don't know if they're lonely and don't have a girlfriend. I don't know what it is. But it's really getting annoying. It's getting to the point to where it's even hard for me to make and watch videos anymore. There's like four or five channels that I can actually just sit there and watch. Um, Boston fan can watch him. I can watch Jeffrey Rose. Uh, I can watch Gemini. Um, and there's a few others. But the majority of this shit on here is ridiculous. Uh, Jeffrey Rose made a very good point the other day when he was talking about People making people making fake titles, and you go to the video and it's nothing about it, or it's a fake ass rumor. That shit gets on my nerves more than anything, man. And it's I see it all the time. Like I click on a video and I'm like, why am I watching this? This isn't what we're even talking about. But the hypocrites in on YouTube in the wrestling com community have uh, really grown to be ignorant. Uh, and they really don't have their facts right. They don't. They just make up a story to get views. Um, and then you got the guys on here that are worried about what the next man's doing, worried about what the uh, what kind of video the next man's making. Um, get offended by, by because somebody may make a uh, racist comment when they're just joking. 
people need to grow up, grow a set of nuts, and do what they do. This is YouTube, man, and it's getting real old. Quit being hypocrites. Quit being babies. Um, let's get this shit rolling. Let's make good wrestling videos. Um, stop making up fake news and that's fake bullshit, man. That's not what I come to YouTube for. I come to YouTube to make videos, man. Um, I come to YouTube to have a good time and to have other people from other different states and parts of the United States and other countries to talk pro wrestling about, man. Because there's not a whole lot of people anymore that even know the know, know this business, know what they're talking about. But the, the few that there are here on YouTube, man, I love you guys, and I always watch your videos. Don't ever, for, you know, don't ever think that. Um, just the uh, goofy shit here on YouTube is is really really getting under my skin. Um, I'm a really easygoing guy, but I'm I'm at the point. To where I'm just about ready, I'm I'm about ready to shut this shit down, dude. If this shit just it's really getting under my skin, as you can see here. Uh, when I ain't gonna shut it down, but maybe not make as many videos as much, you know. It's just what has happened to the world of pro wrestling, guys. Um, this is my video for today. I'll have another one for you tomorrow. We're gonna do like the best. Uh, technicians and technical wrestlers in pro wrestling history so look out for that thanks for anybody that ever watches my channel thanks for anybody that subscribes and uh follows inside wrestling truth i have more interviews for you uh, working on some more legends don't know if they're going to come through um funny story today i was at sprint getting my phone fixed and uh i was going to leave and here comes Cliff Compton. I don't know. If some of y'all shouldn't know who he is. Uh, he was in Deuce and Domino. Walk in. A uh, really nice guy. I've met him before. But just kind of weird. But uh, yeah, man. This is my thoughts on a few things today. Uh, really not talking about a whole lot. It's more like rambling to get shit off my chest. It happens every now and then. But uh, everybody take care. Have a good weekend. And um, peace.